I'm giving you my story. Yeah, Hold yeah, on. yeah. Let's tell a story. It's a so, so disaster and me clash because like, and we just came to this understanding now, twelve years later. You know what I mean? Like he really embodied battle rap. He loves battle rap. So do I. And it could only be one of us. Like he was the West Coast version of me. I'm the East Coast mm. version of him. You know what I mean? Somebody that's really passionate about the game, going thorough and thorough, letting comments ruin their day, writing over and over, wants to be the best, not tolerating nobody doing that at the same time, kind of underrated, not respected, looked over, you know what I mean? Would battle 20 times in a day if you could. So it's like it could only be one of us. And at that time, we was both not as mature as we are now, not grown as we are now, and it was just like, nah, <laughs> It's going to be me. It's not going to be you. Yeah. And we clashed. And it made for one of the greatest battles in battle rap history. And how did Drake end up? But with no. that, well, Drake wound up being there. So, right? It was like a bidding war for the battle. That was the first time I was ever in a bidding war. This is 2011. Originally, we were supposed to battle on grind time. And um, me and him, I got into an argument or whatever. It's like one of the only times I ever got out of character where people could see it and I was like nigga I'll meet you halfway to fight you I'll meet you in Vegas we can meet up da 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 I was bugging and after that I used that as like a scapegoat to get out of the battle I wasn't ready and I was going to battle him out there he would have tortured me out there the material I had it wasn't it I would have lost out there so I used that to get out of it the battle was dead and um, Clips was like yo I'm telling you the battle that you need to send you to the next level is disaster. And Clips called it. He said, yo, that will be one of the biggest battles in battle rap and probably your biggest battle ever. I'm telling you. Hey, you know you got to buy. You don't know because you wasn't no, there. No, but you, you, so let me finish. <laughs> no, no, let me say real quick. Real quick. No, My let opinion. me finish. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm I mean, you, he's say saucy. I'm no. giving niggas game right now. No, no. I'm going to tell you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One at so, a time. Finish. Yeah. So, so. At that point, when Clip says that, I'm like, all right, cool. So I, I talk shit to Disaster on Twitter, and um, I didn't think he was going to take the battle because I did some I did some weasel shit to get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> so he engages in it. He's like, yo, I still smoke you or whatever. And um, he was like, but we can do it on URL. URL sees the tweet. At this time, niggas know money like that wasn't in battle rap. I got offered $5,000 to take Disaster on URL. Mm. And I was thinking about doing it for the money, and Clips was like, nah, if you battle disaster on URL, it's not going to mean as much because if you lose, it, he's going to be able to say he came to your territory and beat mm. you. And if you win, you're supposed to because it's there. You got to go to King of the Dot. It's neutral territory. And Organic was like, I'll take the battle. I can't pay what URL pays. And I go on record. Organic, I don't know what disaster got, but think about this. Organic offered me seven hundred and fifty dollars from five thousand. Mm. So Damn. that's what I had to do. I went from this is DNA at nineteen years old, five bands in his pocket, seven fifty. And Organic said, "I, I got seven fifty for you. no, no. I'm bugging. It was fifteen hundred. I'm sorry, it's fifteen hundred. Seven fifty was the deposit. deposit yeah. Yes, fifteen hundred. He said." But I'll make it worth your while, I promise. I said, okay. So I don't know what that meant. So time goes on. We preparing. We preparing. Um, I'm overthinking the battle. I have no material. I wind up sleeping. The day before the battle, I got a round and a half. Stayed up all night. Before that, I didn't know anything about passports. So I wind up getting my passport last minute. Didn't know that I needed it in time. Wound up chipping away from that fifteen hundred because I had to pay extra money to get it expedited. So now we got like twelve fifty. The day of the flight, I'm so tired, staying up thinking of rhymes. I fall asleep. I wind up in fucking Washington Heights by Dykeman. Oh, Missed my flight because I was flying out of Jersey. That's another two fifty. Reason why I said seven fifty is because after. The cabs and the flight switches, that's what I was down to before I even got there. And I got a round and a half. I'm terrified because now I got to go through with it. This yeah. suck. I land, get pressed by um Border Patrol my first time, check my record. They on me. Now, I mean, I finally get through 
I finished the second. I got two rounds, no third. I just tell myself it's the day before the battle. I'm a freestyle the third. The third is unlimited. We get to the battle. I'm practicing outside. I'm nervous. This is the most nervous I've ever been in a battle in my life. This is it. At this time, I have nothing going on. No kids, no girlfriend. Battle rap is everything. So I lose this battle. I'm, I'm suicidal. I'm in a pretzel. I'm outside. A big limousine pulls up. A bunch of people scream, oh, my God, it's Drake. Drake's here. It's my first time in Canada. Y'all probably say it's Drake here every time y'all see a limousine. <laughs> Drake ain't here. Walk inside to go battle. It's organic. It's Gully, Bishop Agante, and Drake is standing in the middle of him. And he says, um, yeah, let's make this battle judge. I got 3000 for the winner. Mind you, I'm a smart nigga. Nah, man, I seen you tweeting disaster before and all that. You a disaster fan. I'm like, nah, we're going to keep it how it was, man. <laughs> this is me at 19. We ain't judging this shit, nigga. We're going to keep it how it was. And um, we went there, and by the end of the battle, Drake's man, Hush, wanted to give me the three bands at the end. And Drake was a real nigga and said, nah, they put on a classic. Tell them to split the money. So I wound up leaving right. with... um. With an extra 1500 3000 in total. And psh, nigga, Drake being there, psh, that shit was worth more than the five, nigga. And the rest is history. 5.76 million views now if you go on the internet. See, what I, was trying to, what I was trying to say was, you know how battle rap, they be like, what's your classic battles? To me, I, w- I have a one step above that. Cult classics. Like, like you have to see these battles if you're a battle rap coach. Right. And DNA and Disaster is one of those battles. If you don't watch DNA and Disaster, you don't know shit about battle rap. That's how I look at it. It's like a, like, Pulp Fiction is a cult classic movie. Right. Right? DNA Disaster is like a battle that, I, like, let's say I have writer's block or I'm just like, don't have nothing to watch, I'll watch that battle. Like, it's timeless. Like, you can watch it any era and it's timeless. You know what I'm saying? So what rivalry a, would you consider me in disaster on some wrestling shit? Mm, in, that's a good one. <laughs> you in disaster? Me in disaster, nigga. I got one, but I got an. I got, I, I got one, but it's gonna throw y'all off. I mean, and, and, same and, with and, mine. And, and it's not even say? a big rivalry, but it was just like just the like lead up to it. I would say Hulk and the Rock. And I don't know y'all be like that's not really a big rivalry, but the outcome of it was so classic. Like you can go back and watch the Rock and the Hawk right now, and, and that, that's how mm. crazy it is. I was gonna say uh, again, it might throw y'all Sting versus Triple H. It was just Sting, the like he was the biggest. Not from the attitude. Yeah, you, you you know the problem with that is the Hawk and the Rock. The payoff of that that matchup is huge, mm-hmm. bro. Like think about this: the Rock went in there as the, the the face, and it turned instantly in that match to the Hawk. Like when we were yeah. excited to see him Hulk up, push him. We're like, oh shit! The countouts, the the, the the when they kicked out, bro. Rock had to hit two rock bottoms back to back to win that match. Yeah, and it was just so. And bro, when when Hulk did the Hulk up, the crowd went ballistic. That's the payout in that matchup, yo. Like just watching the rebuttals, the when when I, I remember disaster trying to press him, like, like like what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and they hit, yeah. hit the Drake rebuttal mid round. That's a cook. That's a cult classic, bro. Yeah. Listen, if you're a battle rap fan and you never saw the DNA disaster, you're not a battle rap fan. That's just point blank, period. It's like what they say you never saw Lux and Calico. That's up there. So That's I a cult got, classic. So I got a question for you, right? This is my podcast. This is Z's podcast. Um, 